gaming is very important for some of us. And if you have a habit of recording your gameplay for X, Y, Z reasons, then you all might have come across this one common problem, which is what software to use when it comes to gameplay recording. There are plenty of options out there to choose from, and most of us use either of the two traditional methods, which are Windows Game Bar, which in other words is Windows inbuilt screen recording feature, and the other method is the popular industry standard OBS Studio. But the problem is, OBS Studio is a very resource intensive software, thus it is best suited for tasks like normal desktop recording. Mediocre systems struggle a lot when it comes to gameplay recording with OBS. Also, on the other hand, Windows Game Bar is a very basic screen recording feature. By that, I mean, oftentimes the footage quality isn't that great, plus Windows Game Bar is infamous for its unreliability. I even have a detailed video on my channel regarding one of the commonly encountered issues of Windows Game Bar. Thus, coming back to the main question, what software to use when it comes to gameplay recording? Well, I have a great solution for you in today's video if you are an NVIDIA GPU user. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can record great quality gameplay footage using a very cool feature provided by NVIDIA specially designed for gameplay recording. Before starting the tutorial, I am assuming that you already have NVIDIA GeForce Experience installed in your systems. If you don't have that, then install it because we are going to need that in order to use this feature. As usual, we'll provide the link down in the description. So once your NVIDIA GeForce Experience is up and running, all you have to do is open it from the system tray. Once you're inside, make sure that your NVIDIA GPU driver is up to date. Now click on the settings icon on the top. After that, on the right bottom side, there are a list of features mentioned. Scroll down to in-game overlay. This in-game overlay feature is NVIDIA's solution to gameplay recording. Before using this feature, you can check whether your system and model of GPU supports this feature or not by simply clicking on the drop down icon on the right side. Now in order to enable this feature, come to the left where the feature name is mentioned. Beside it, there is a toggle switch, click on it to enable the feature. Before using the feature, there are some settings that needs to be tweaked, so click on settings to enter the menu. In order to finalize the location where your game recordings are going to be saved, click on Recordings. Inside, you get the option to choose where your temporary files as well as game recordings are going to be saved. Choose the target path as per your requirement. If you want to have a quick glance of all the keyboard shortcuts that you can use to control the in-game overlay, click on Keyboard Shortcuts. This will provide you with a list of all the shortcuts that you can use. By the way, in order to bring up the in-game overlay while you are gaming, all you have to do is press Alt plus Z. Coming to the second last important setting which is Audio. Click on the Audio settings and inside you get options to control your system sound, microphone audio and audio tracks. I always keep my system sound to the max since I never use my microphone and prefer to keep it on mute while recording. Thus, I won't play with the microphone settings, you can adjust it according to your needs. Last important setting that we need to adjust is the video capture quality. For this, click on the option Video Capture. Inside, you will find a plethora of options to customize your recording quality. Since I don't use the instant replays, thus I would avoid the settings associated with it at the very top. For quality, I like to keep it on high. Resolution, I always keep it at in-game. This basically considers your game resolution as the default resolution of the recording. Frame rate, I always prefer 60 FPS. And for bit rate, I prefer it to be 50 Mbps. Now that we are done with all the initial settings, let's dive into the actual part which is recording of gameplay. As you can see, I am running Red Dead Redemption 2 right now and in order to access the GeForce Experience in-game overlay menu, all I have to do is press Alt plus Z. I am recording this particular part using OBS Studio as there is no other way for me to show you the control panel because this in-game overlay feature can only start recording while gaming. Also, it can't record its own control panel. But before starting to record, I would also like to show you some cool features like game filters. This option allows you to place various kinds of overlay to your game footage. There are three different memory presets and under each preset, you can add the filter of your choice 
or use a combination of multiple filters. Personally, I prefer to use only the brightness slash contrast filter. Then comes the HUD layout settings. Using the feature, you can enable FPS counter, GPU and CPU monitoring tools and various other useful piece of information at any corner of your screen while you are gaming. There are four corners to choose from and a total of four functions that you can enable to be visible while you are gaming including an FPS counter. How cool is that? Now, finally in order to record, I will click on record and then start. The footage that you see right now is being recorded using NVIDIA's in-game overlay and I hope the footage seems satisfactory to you along with the gameplay audio. So go ahead and give this a try if you are using a NVIDIA GPU. Make sure to let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. I will post all the necessary links in the video description and the comments as well. Also make sure to drop a like if you appreciate my content and subscribe for more such videos related to the world of gaming and tech. Thanks for watching.